Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Face people. I almost said juicy people. My God, it's good to be juicy in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Have you ever seen a juicy steak? My God, a juicy, anything juicy is good. I wish I had a church to talk back to me this morning. My God, I'm feeling good in my mind, my soul, and my spirit. And you should be feeling that way too if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, God himself. Hey, and we're going to talk about something today that's really, really important. And it's the closeness that Jesus Christ done. And I feel that. I feel that in the last 25 weeks or so, we've been down to Perkins Church. We call Perkins Restaurant our church right now. Because we need to change that first place into a church. My God, if we're having a good time. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you can see we're remodeling in my church as we speak right now. So I'm excited about what God is doing. But God came to me about two and a half years ago. It was in my mind, in my spirit. He said, you all are doing wrong. I said, who, who God? He said, all you pastors that's doing wrong. I said, why is that? He said, because if you think you're going to get close to the people from the mic to their seats, it's not going to happen. Jesus Christ, my son, got close to the people. Come on. He was constantly serving others, and he spent time with the sick and the affliction and the sinners and the poor, and he taught, healed, and loved all who came to him. And when he strive to and when he strive to treat others like when you strive to treat others like Jesus Christ did we learn more about him and become more like him so Jesus Christ was close to the people and that's what I feel like I'm doing in my spirit because it's so much going on so right and when you in the the stream of Jesus Christ God himself other words what I'm saying doing his walk doing his will and his purpose on what he want you to be doing. And you know, it's just a feeling that you have. I can't teach this or preach this. You something you have to do. When you're in the will of God, uh, you have to do what God tells you to do in your spirit, your soul, and mind. And I know this is deep, especially for the people that's not trying to get close to Jesus Christ. Because you're looking at me like this man is just bamboozing at us. I'm telling you, it works. All the spirits and emotions and problems and uh, strong ties and strongholds and can't get out of addiction. All of them are spirits. I've been there. I've been there 11 years on drugs. Come on, people. I ain't on here trying to just give you some of the bamboos. Ain't nobody paying me to do this, but God himself and the reward is awesome. I wish y'all could understand how the reward is from Jesus Christ, God himself, when you're doing his will. He said he was constantly serving others. He spent time with the sick, the affliction, the sinners. Come on. He was at the Gamma Casino with the widow. Come on. He was at the party, a seven-day party where they was drinking. Women was coming up to him. Jesus, you want a date? Come on. Jesus went through that. But his temptation, uh, uh, his his temptation, he, he conquered that. And that's what we have to do in our life if that makes any sense. So listen, church people, grab some people. Get close to some people because it's time. It's a lot of hurting people. I can tell they coming in on Sunday. Three and four people each Sunday is coming in. New people is coming in. And I can already tell the people that was coming that not coming back. Normally, it's the people that's not used to love and don't understand what's going on or really not going to grab Jesus Christ, God himself. Because if we keep it real, everybody's not going to grab God and Jesus Christ. I'm just telling you the truth. Will they, go, will they go to heaven or hell? That's not my call. I don't know how God deal with that because he's God. He knows you, and he cannot charge everybody for not obtaining all the knowledge of Jesus Christ because we all are different levels in smartness, if that make any sense. Well, listen, just a little hot word on this Loving Tuesday. Love on somebody today. If you see somebody uh, at Speedway, count change, and I've been seeing a lot of that since the gas prices. Man, I tell them, put that change up. Go, what, how much gas you want to get? Oh, I was going to get $3. No, no, no. Give him 10 Go keep that three and I'm going to put you $10. And I do that. And that's the underground stuff. And I'm not telling you guys that so it can make me look like I'm something. I'm fighting just like you are. But I'm fighting in a different way. I'm fighting for Jesus Christ. And my enemy is not you. It's the devil. I love you guys. Be blessed out there on this loving Tuesday. Love on somebody. Call somebody uh, after Thanksgiving that, and surprise them. And tell your family members. I love you, and maybe next year we can get together, if that make any sense. Now, that's Thanksgiving to me when you stay in touch all through the year, if that make any sense. 
People don't like real. I love you guys. Be careful. Be blessed.